Good morning. Oh, I wonder what that was. Finally got a new air freshener for the van, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from Wells, a small town near Somerset, in Somerset. I think it's in Somerset. In Somerset. We are en route to our next quirky accommodation, episode four. Is it episode four? Episode four, which could be our last one for a while because we are going into lockdown as of Thursday. So unfortunately, well, fortunately, we've just managed to get this one in. Unfortunately, we've had to cancel slash postpone the a next few hours, episodes yeah. but we've just had a fuel stop we've had some nuts we've had some bananas and now we're off to find a tree tent okay guys so we have arrived at pennard hill farm the place is huge uh, it's located just outside glastonbury and if you look just down there you can actually see the pyramid stage and we're heading on there somewhere to find our tree tent we're just gearing up the bags guys we're on a real SAS mission here. Let's go Trooper. <laughs> Look at that, she looks like a little turtle. <laughs> we love an adventure guys. Home sweet home. I think we found the tree tent. So this is our tree tent for the night. We are high by the way. We are pretty high in the trees. Gonna give us a tour Lowe. Ready. Across the string bridge and into our dome. Come into the sphere. <laughs> the sphere. So there's not a lot to show, but it is definitely an unusual hotel. World's tiniest log burner. Going straight out the ceiling, that's getting lit for sure. A semicircle sofa, which obviously doubles out into a bed. We'll show you that later. And a little desk, side table set up. This is it guys, this is legit. It is literally a ball tent, clear ceiling, Star goes in tonight. Oh, can't see you. <laughs> With a view. With a view. And it wobbles. It wobbles. Enjoy the view. We'll show you outside in a second. There is much more, but this is the tent. It's solar powered. We've got a little USB charger and a 12 volt cigarette lighter like you get in a car. Oh, and most importantly, hot water bottle. Oh, almost forgot as well. Little in-floor storage compartments. So we're only here for two nights. I don't think we'll end up unpacking, but even under the sofa, there is plenty of storage. Did you feel that wobble? I hope it's not too windy tonight, guys. <laughs> and this is our view for this evening. Bedside table, and we'll get that little log burner going. Should we take them outside? Yes. Come on in, Loz. Show us on the outside. Back over the bridge. Look at the depth on it. Jesus. It's literally attached to trees, by the way. That is held up hopefully pretty sturdily as you come out of the tent on the right hand side here big double doors where we've got a fully furnished and functioning kitchen check this out we'll open it up properly and get some light in here while we're cooking but quick tour oh and this big l-shaped seating pad is for up here which we may use later if it's not raining fire out here. <laughs> That's it inside. We've got kindling in there. Yeah, solid. Fire pit, yep. little L-shaped sofa overlooking the tree tent. That is epic. And then round here to the toilets, is it? Toilet. It's actually so nice. They're all made out of wood. Couple of towels. Solar powered light. Look at the hooks made out of a little copper pipe. You impressed with them? Yeah, little copper pipes. <laughs> Follow me. The grand finale. The outdoor shower. Wow. Are you in there? Alright. <laughs> How are you doing? I mean, hopefully there's a bit of hot water. Because it's pretty chilly up here. We're going to be naked in the nature. <laughs> Lauren's straight on the coffee mission. Which one should I use? Oh, that's pretty. That is lovely. Digging the orange kettle as well. So we've got another run to the van to do. And then I guess it's a chill evening. And get set up nice and cosy. Cheers. Right, we've doubled up. We've got our hot water bottles from the van. Sleeping bags for the night. Cushions and blanket. I think Lauren's gonna start the dinner and I'm gonna get the fire going. Plenty of ammo tonight, guys. Let's see what we got under here. Yes. Kindling and fire lighters. How are you getting on in there, Lol? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, packing away. We're looking good. We're looking good. The rain's coming down heavy, guys, but found the light switch. Nice. <laughs> Setting the ambiance. Anyway, fire's going. Let's see how Loz is getting on. Looking good, Loz. All under control? All under control. 
under control. It smells good. Bit of burnt onion. And now, would you like the pasta al dente? Oh, come on. <laughs> However it comes. Can't quite believe this setup. That is epic, isn't it? It's like being a big kid. So we're here for two nights. Not a lot to do really, apart from chill out. Might take a drive into the town of Glastonbury. Heard it's pretty cool and we've never been there before. But we will definitely document everything and take you along with us. What's happening? I just see a rainbow outside. Oh, oh wicked, wicked. Get the dinner down. Big portions to warm me belly up. Managed to rip these down. Let's go and check the rainbow. Good spot, Loza. See if I can pick it up on the camera. Wow, magical. Remember when we missed the rainbow at the Shepherd's Hut? Lauren's on a race again. We ain't missing this one, guys. Let's see if we can get it. Cheers to us. Cheers. So I've just done the washing up. Uh, Lauren's popped to the toilet and the lady, the owner, lives in the farmhouse, like a few hundred meters up that way. And she's just messaged saying that there's a swimming pool. And if we want to use a swimming pool, we can go in there or at least go up there and have a hot shower. So the bags are open, <laughs> the loofah's out, and we'll see what we can do. Ready for a shower? Yes. A warm shower <laughs> and possibly a swimming pool. Do you know what? We're shining from the kitchen here, but it's going to be pitch black in that field, isn't it? On the way back, we'll get our new head torches. I was just going to say that. <laughs> it's a good job we got our new head torches in the van. <laughs> Come on, you. It's six o'clock. Got the head torches, though. Head torches. At the ready. There you go. Oh, oi, oi. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Pro campers now, guys. You can take your torch off now. Check this out. <gasps> if you can feel how warm it is in here. <laughs> this is legit. Lauren's gone down there. She's just rolling it back now. <laughs> I feel like we're trespassing, like we shouldn't be here. But the lady said, come jump in the pool, so. Okay, this unusual hotel wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an experience. I feel like we definitely just took glamping to a new level. <laughs> Back to base. Solar panels still going on the electricity then. Time to get cosy. I want to live here. Yeah, I reckon we could. It's worse. Bigger than the boat, that's for sure. <laughs> I reckon we need a little snack before bed, don't we? Oh, yeah. Little spotlights leading the way. Oh, it still kept its warmth. Really? Come on in, Loza. Yeah, we'll boost the fire. Fire's gone out. But first things first. I'm a realist. I think it's time to make the bed up. <laughs> Pole keeps blocking you out. All right, viewers. We figured because it's quite small in here, we've propped the camera up there. It's probably the best angle we're going to get of the bed. And uh, we've done a quick run through earlier just to figure it out. So hopefully it should run smoothly this time. So basically, you've just got these two little pull out drawers. We bought our own sleeping bags, as advised in the welcome package. And then what I'll do is I'll lift this up. Yeah. And you should be able to just flip that over. One, two, three, semicircle bed turns into a circle oval bed. And talk about precise building. <laughs> and that falls out like so. Easy as that. So Laura's decided to open the sleeping bags out and we're gonna use them as like a little blanket for now. We've got a heavy blanket for the top of us, so. Laura says she can't she doesn't think she can sleep in a sleeping bag. Well I can, but I like to spread out. We'll soon find out at 3 a.m. when she's an absolute icicle. <laughs> we might have to get back in and zip them up. So while she unravels that one, we brought in a couple of our own cushions. And we've got our big salty aura blanket as well. She's now doing a test run. The mattress is actually so, so comfy. What are you saying about that? What do you reckon? <laughs> Flimsy ass sleeping bags. No, I'm joking. I am all right, and we haven't had the fire on for a couple of hours, so. We're gonna light the fire now, get some snacks, and see how we go, guys. We'll be all right. Lauren's on snack duty. What we got? We've got grapes, strawberries, raspberries, and we've. Oh, um, not bananas actually tonight. Pop chips. Oh, we didn't get a dip, but. Peanut butter roll, maybe? Mm. Maybe. And we've also got the heavenly Terry's chocolate orange white one, which only seems to come out at Christmas and white is my absolute favorite chocolate. All right, snacks are in. I think it's time to light the fire again.
Fire's going. The blue socks are out. This is the current setup. Can't see much out the ceiling, however, the moon is in view. But we've got to get up and get ready for bed, I think. Better lock down the kitchen. Make sure no animals steal our food. And we're in for the night. Plenty of wood for the fire. So I think it's time to dim the lights and get set up with a movie. One thing's for sure, I don't think we're gonna go cold tonight. No, it's I am enough. absolutely boiling. <laughs> that little fire puts out some heat, but we'll let you know how we go. We've got the front door open as well. Got the door open a little bit to get some airflow. We'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Yes guys, three o'clock. You thought it would be the morning video, but it's not yet. <laughs> <laughs> three o'clock. We're up doing the fire. The kettle's boiling, we're having three hot water bottles in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cold. Currently sitting at one degree. <laughs> and we're getting to zero at four o'clock, so. So yeah, 3.14am, wide awake. Might watch a movie. <laughs> Morning guys, we Morning. made it. Lauren's wrapped me up in a cocoon and I am toasty. <laughs> How many hot water bottles you got under there, Will? Three. <laughs> <laughs> this is this morning's views. So we went to bed with the moon and woke up with the sun. Check that out. And I don't think I've ever honestly woken up in a more peaceful place. Okay, we're up and out here. Got my cereal and fruit. Lauren's out there making some toast. I think we're gonna head into Glastonbury and check that out today. But the first thing we need to do is wrap up these sleeping bags. We're gonna chuck them back in the car and bring our duvet back down later. All right, ready for an adventure? Let's do it. Glastonbury, here we come. And we're back. We're actually gonna wrap up the Glastonbury footage and put it in a separate vlog, which will go on in a few days, purely because we had such a good day and we got quite a lot of content, so it'll make an extra vlog for you guys to view. And also, we don't really want it to interrupt with the Unusual Hotel series. But for now, it's time to rip that bedding down and get it in that tree tent. How risky is this one, mate? <laughs> Better keep hold of this thing tight. We do not want white sheets in the mud. Whim away, na na na, whim away, na 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 na. But before we make the bed, I'm gonna race against time, as always, against the sunlight. Sunset in England has changed to like 4.30. So Lauren's got the tripod out. Where is she, can you see her? <laughs> so we're gonna try and get some photos. All right, ready? One, two, three. Next mission is to charge it up to the farmhouse because we need some more kindling for the fire tonight. And half a Marmite sandwich for energy up the hill. <laughs> Here we go. Although seeing as the farmhouse is next door to the swimming pool. So head torches back on. Kindling mission was a success. Lauren's got the goods. And now we're gonna jump in the van, quickly grab some ingredients for tonight. Cook up a nice hearty curry. Chili powder? Yeah. Crushed chilies and coconut milk. Right, this bit's gonna take some teamwork. We need fire food and bed made. There we go. I feel like this pole keeps separating us, mm. <laughs> trying to get in the way of us. Bit of dinner, bed's made just about and the fire's going. Lauren's made a little sweet potato, chickpea, spinach curry. I'm looking forward to getting into this one. Mm. So current setup guys, my hair's an absolute mess from the swimming pool. Lauren's just grabbing the laptop. Now I'm too hot. Yeah, it's actually toasty in here right now, but it's still early doors. What's the time? Early doors. No, um, eight o'clock or something. So we're going to get set up. Lauren's going to feed me grapes, aren't you, darling? Absolutely. <laughs> Jam Netflix on. We've got an absolute sofa setup going on here. Oh, I'm stuck. Bless her. She does need help getting changed sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and we will sign this out in the morning. No doubt we'll be up at 3 a.m. to relight the fire. If we are. We'll check in with you. <laughs> Maybe not though. We've got the hot water bottles and we've got the duvet tonight, so hopefully we sleep straight through, but either way, 
We'll pick this up whenever we see you next. Time for Netflix. Quick dim of the lights. Showdown. Dum dum dum. Look at that setup, guys. We slept all the way through. Well, Lauren got up for the toilet, didn't you? Who slept all the way through? <laughs> Lauren got up for the toilet and topped up the fire, bless her. It is now 8.30. It's two degrees, but we are cosy. I'm toasty in here. I think this is a 13.5 tog quilt, so we did pretty good. <laughs> the duvet saved us last night. And it's time to get up and check out. But I don't want to move. But we have to. Time to say farewell. Gutted to be leaving the little tree tent, especially as it's a four hour drive straight back into lockdown on the narrow boat. But couldn't think of a better place to spend our last couple of days of freedom. It's been so magical. It has been very cool. Massive thank you to the guys at Pennant Hill Farm for our stay here and hope you guys have enjoyed it. Would you say it's the best place above the Shepherd's Hut or? Uh, I think this has been the best place. Yeah. yeah. I think it's been the best place because we know what restrictions come after it as well. So we've really <laughs> truly appreciated this freedom. Definitely. I'd say Shepherd's Hut was good for the luxuries, but this has been mad for nature. But for now, my arm's really aching, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye. <laughs> Let me give you one last pan around. A sphere tent <laughs> hanging off some trees. And not a bad view. Ready, Loza? <laughs> Sad times. So we're gonna grab our bags and we're off back to the van. Although, you can still enjoy our Glastonbury vlog, which will be coming up next. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>